We tend to think of glass as a good guy of the packaging world. That's why we use it for the important things like beer and luxury water. Kudos to the organisers for organising the prop. And there's a good reason for this. I mean, sure, it takes a lot of energy to make it in the first place, but once it's made, it's, in theory, infinitely recyclable and, compared to plastics, relatively non-polluting. But there's a big problem with glass, or more specifically, there's a big problem with little pieces of glass in the glass supply chain. Because when you smash a bottle and it breaks into pieces that you can't sort into the right colour, we can only make green glass from green glass or brown glass from brown glass. And so when the pieces are too small, it can't be made into glass anymore. That destroys its value and it's not reused. And that's why more than half of all glass is not recycled. That's more than 60 million tonnes a year, enough to build a wall roughly a metre high, a metre wide, and 40,000 kilometres long all the way around the equator. So what's the big idea? Well, when you look at the supply chain of glass, we've got the raw materials, energy goes in, it's made into a bottle, it's either recycled or not. It's very similar to this chemical, sodium silicate. Sodium silicate is one of the most widely used industrial chemicals in the world. We consume about 10 million tonnes of it a year and the global market's worth about $10 billion. It's used to make thousands of products, everything from tyres to detergents, silica gel and even toothpaste. And you probably see where this is going. During my PhD, I've developed a process to take glass, digest it in alkaline solution and separate it out into sodium silicate and a solid intermediate from which we can extract silica gel. And through 4,000 hours of optimization tests, which is about as fun as watching paint dry, I've actually managed to define the parameters where this can proceed in an economically um, viable way. And we've filed a patent to protect those that are going through the commercialization process. And that's what's exciting for me, because when we have glass that's currently going to landfill, and we convert it into high purity silica. We take a product which is costing money and turn it into one that's worth more than $1,000 a ton. And because we use the energy and raw materials which went into making glass in the first place, we can actually make sodium silicate at 50% of the cost of the conventional production route. Thank you.